what I want to do now is I want to configure Dreamweaver to interact with uh, my web host as well as well essentially file management on my computer uh, basically through Dreamweaver's manage sites or new site um, its new site setup essentially what you're doing is telling Dreamweaver where you're going to keep all your files on your computer where it should upload them to on your web server and how it's going to do that the, the how it's going to do that is you know your username and password for your web host so before I even bother going into Dreamweaver let me go to my web host I'm using 000webhost.com and I want to log in because I need to um, refer to that FTP information that is located in the cPanel portion of the site. So there I go, I log in, I click on go to cPanel, and if I go down the way a bit, I should see FTP here somewhere. I think I'm missing it. Uh, I'm not, my eyeballs are missing it. FTP, there we go, view FTP details. Okay. Now, these are my FTP username, password, all that good stuff that I'm going to need to put into Dreamweaver. Now, you know, remember that your FTP information, if you're using 000 web host, is not the same as the information you use to log in. So that's why I'm going to this section. Um, all right, let me f go back to Dreamweaver. And so what I did is I went to Site, and I'll go right to New Site. Now let's just start with all the options. First order of business is site name. This is whatever you want to name it. So I'm just going to name mine Web One Project, and then local site folder. This is referring to where you're going to be storing your files on your computer locally, not on the server. So um, just for the sake of these videos, I'm going to keep it on the desktop. Um, I don't know. You guys may not want to do it on the desktop because you may end up with clutter or accidentally delete it. Um, I'm just, I, I actually wouldn't um, put it on the desktop either if I was working with it, but it's kind of for these videos so you guys could see it. Uh, the, pr the folder name could be whatever you want it to be. I'm just kind of keeping it consistent Web One Project. I hit create and I'm good to go. So that's just fine. Um, I wonder what this is about. Site name. Ah, I think I'm getting an X over here because I already have uh, a project name uh, Web One on there because I set it up before you guys see it. So uh, before I shot this video, rather. So if you guys get that um, an X like I did over here, it could potentially be because you already have a a site. By that name, so I'm just going to leave mine Web One Project. Set up the site, uh, the local site folder, and that's fine. Okay, let me. I'm going to skip over server for a second um, because that's going to be where we use the 000 web host info. And let me go with the rest of the local options. Under version control, leave it to none. Don't worry about that because that's that refers to like a version server which you'd likely unless someone else has set it up or you work in a big company where you have a bunch of people um, accessing or updating the website you wouldn't be using something like that um, under advanced settings one of the things you'll see is default images folder and there this is essentially any time any image you bring into Dreamweaver where is it gonna make a copy of it to um, if if you're working on a website that has a lot of uh, a lot of imagery, it's a good idea to create an entirely new folder called images for it. Cause it's kind of like you, the whole idea is you're trying to keep your file structure pretty neat. Uh, if your if your website's going to be really small, um, like it's going to be for this thing, I actually like keeping everything in in one folder uh, because it makes the it makes things easier to access and links and that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, for the sake of doing things just uh, in a clean way and the potential for it being a lot of images on there, I, I will create an images folder. 
and I did just that by I hit that new folder and I'm inside the images folder so I click choose so now actually if we go to here's the folder I created to act to hold all my local files and if we click in here you see that it also created an images folder perfect I'll choose that site-wide media query file you could leave that blank uh, this web URL and it says uh, links relative to either the site root or the document leave it on document and you're fine with the rest of the options the way they are um, if we go down the way okay that's local info um, enable cloaking cloaking means that if you put working files in that folder and a working file would be something like a Photoshop file because if you're working with images on the web you're not uploading like a PSD file, like a Photoshop file. You're actually uploading um, JPEGs and PNGs because things like Photoshop files aren't going to be rendered by the browser. But cloaking enables you to actually store those files within the folder on your computer locally. And when you go to upload them, it'll exclude whatever you have here in the cloak files ending with. Um, so FLA, this is a flash file, but this isn't like a, a, the end product of a flash file that the plug that the flash plugin would play. That would be a SWIFT, SWF. This is like the working flash file, uh, which is similar to a PSD file. So a PSD file is a working Photoshop file, you know, with the layers and all that kind of stuff. And that's not something you'd be uploading. You'd be uploading, you know, the exported, the saved as a JPEG. TIFF, that kind of file from a Photoshop file. Um, I personally don't put working files in my folder anyway, but this is a nice option if you like organizing your stuff that way, then use this cloaking. And you know what? Probably be a good idea to enable this anyway in case you accidentally pop something in that folder, although you should kind of keep your eye on that kind of thing. Uh, so you don't have accidental extra garbage in there that you're uploading. Um, design notes, I don't maintain these design notes. This is like a built-in Dreamweaver feature that it kind of puts information on what you're doing in there. Um, actually, I don't know too much about design notes because I've never used it. It's never been helpful to me, so I always uh, make sure it's unchecked. It actually just creates unnecessary files, in my opinion, uh, on your in your fo uh, local folders and stuff, like these notes files, so I like to get rid of them. Um, file view columns, leave that alone. Contribute, leave that alone. Unless, I mean, contribute is another piece of Adobe software. So unless you have that software and someone told you ahead of time that you need to enable uh, contribute compatibility and all that stuff, don't you know? You wouldn't be messing with this option. Templates. Dreamweaver has this method of making templates for you. Um, it's a Dreamweaver specific thing and I don't think it's a good practice so I, I when you know you may hear me in the future say something about templates but I'm not I'm never referring to Dreamweaver templates or their format specifically so um, and Spry is another thing it's some built-in uh, JavaScript functionality that you could add to your um, to your pages and it's saying you know where would you want to put those assets so um, you could just leave all that alone uh, pretty much because we're not going to be using spry for for any of this stuff anyway in this project 